Hunters Bay Radio, the sound of Muskoka. That was Huey Lewis and the news with the power of love. It's time now for a look at our Hunters Bay Radio weather. Today, a sunny day. We'll see a high of 9 degrees, the low tonight, minus 6. Tomorrow, Friday, the last day of the week, a sunny day, the high 12 degrees, the low minus 3. no idea really what we were getting ourselves into when James came along. When he started doing the on-air bits is when you really saw the experience and the knowledge that he had and you know you just were in awe of that. And welcome back I'm James Carroll sitting in for Grant Nichols this is another installment of Town on the Bay we just heard uh, a great great interpretation of a uh, uh, Ray LaMontagne song Jolene that was great. You know, I knew he was with wind at my back and, you know, obviously a very accomplished actor. But I was more blown away by what he could do when we turn on the mics. He was on, you know, like that's his thing. You know, it's the performance. Franny, look, I love your sister Rose. But sometimes I wonder, when is this all going to end? You see more in her than there is. You expect too much from everybody. The Empire Hotel had just burned down and James was employed there as the manager of the local bar. We had a vacancy and uh, I remember James saying, I've got to get me some of that action. And, you know, that was the beginning of, of James sort of uh, taking over the radio station. I used to make fun that this was not Hunter's Bay Radio, but really the James Carroll Radio Network. We were listening, of course, to Blur with uh, Park Life. That was uh, a Japanese import, and we started off the show with Hold Back the River by James Bay. He brought a lot of people with him to the station, a lot of people to volunteer, and, you know, that's, that's kind of the essence of what Hunter's Bay is. It's a community station where there's just, you know, a lot of people that are, you know, passionate about their town, passionate about the community, and passionate about the events that take place in it, and they're a huge supporter of that here. Good. I'm good. Hey, did you know that Huntsville is having its first ever Muskoka 2-4 Craft Beer Festival? No way, when? I'll tell you, Saturday, May 21st, that's the long weekend in Muskoka. Is that where the name Muskoka 2-4 comes from? Yeah, and it's going to be in downtown. If he was walking down the street, and even if he didn't know the person and they were passing him, he'd, he'd still say hello, you know? He'd still make conversation. He just made himself available to people. And I think, therefore, you know, because he wasn't judging, it made people want to want to be in his presence. It, it made people want to be around him. So, and I know you've been doing a lot of um, uh, taking a look at the world. Yes. Now, where have you been in the last, well, how long ago did you leave home? Uh, so about six months ago. Yeah, six months ago today, actually. Well, it, happy yeah. anniversary. Thank you. <laughs> did, did you call home and say, I'm okay? <laughs> this radio station became sort of family to him, too, because in, in its own quirky way, Hunters Bay Radio is a family. There is a certain sense of community about this radio station, and if you volunteer here, you become a part of that family, and you see how cool it is. And I think he just found a home here. James has that magnetic personality. He listens to people, he pays attention to them. When somebody takes interest in you, and puts it all on you, and asks you questions, and shows interest in your life, as he has done as long as I've known him, then that person is somebody I want to hang around with. You know, James has a lot of friends. I'm happy to be one of them, one of many. <laughs> 